Hello, everyone. Welcome to another webinar session of Genesis One. Today, we will discuss about payment reconciliation for e-commerce marketplace website. To discuss this webinar session, we have with our esteemed speaker and panelist, Mr. Navid Khan. He is leading sales for Brown Web Operation. Ms. Siddhi Gowe, she is a senior CSM manager, uh, customer success manager for enterprise brown tape operation. And uh, Ms. Siona Sequera, she is uh, assistant manager for brown tape operation. So they will discuss about today's agenda, which is about payment reconciliation for e-commerce marketplace and uh, marketplace and websites. So guys, please go ahead and discuss about the session. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Brikram. Hello, good afternoon, everyone, and a warm welcome to all of uh, the participants today. Uh, we are here with another session of Genesis webinar. So just to give you a fair background on what we have done it in past. So we have covered few topics and our expert panelists have spoken about performance marketing on Amazon. We have covered strategies to become successful on e-commerce marketplaces. We've also come up, covered a certain uh, uh, you know, we have covered few slides, important slides on reputation management for a D2C brand. So these were the, these were few of the topics that we have covered in the past. Today, we will be covering one of the most important topics of e-commerce for sellers, which is payment reconciliation for marketplaces and website. To, uh, to have this uh, webinar journey, I also have uh, Siddhi alongside me with me and Siona to help us uh, with the presentation. So once again, uh, very warm welcome to all of you. Uh, Siona, just scroll down to the next slide. So today uh, we will be talking about on the, uh, we have we have done a lot of research and come up with few points which we felt like, you know, these are the most important points that one should cover in a webinar when we talk about reconciliation. Like first we will do the introduction to payment reconciliation. Second point that we will cover is the importance of payment reconciliation in an e-commerce industry. Third, we will be talking about the challenges that our seller faces for payment when, when, when they go through payment reconciliation process. Then Siddhi will cover a live demo. And the last topic that we will cover is the benefits of using brown tape tool for reconciliation. How can brown tape as, as an OMS software or you know this, this particular reconciliation tool will ease the ease the e-commerce journey for, for a particular seller and help them in identify the right way and the processes to to you know uh identify any financial leakages or planning or etc right so uh we will will first cover on the first slide that we talk about is introduction to payment reconciliation so you want to just scroll down so the first slide you know for, for payment reconciliation is a uh, is a critical financial control process basically uh and and you know we all know that this activity ensures that what is the outcome out of, out of this? So basically, this activity ensures the accuracy and completeness of an e-commerce business financial records. So it's all about finances. It's all about uh, you know fol following the uh, right practice. Reconciliation process involves regularly comparing internal transactions records with our extension financial uh, uh, you know external financial statements to when when it when you know when you have the right entries. You'll be able to do a lot of planning. The, about the planning, we'll cover in uh, our next slides as well. So, what is the achievement that we get from out of out of when we do when we uh, talk about uh, payment reconciliation? What is the achievement that one should receive? So, accuracy accuracy in financial reporting. This ensures that financial statements reflect the true state of business. Then, followed by cash flow management. This helps in understanding the cash flow and managing the working capital more effectively for a seller. Then the third achievement that one can, what could, one, one seller could get is compliance. Ensuring compliance with financial regulations and standards will, will uh, give you more uh, uh, visibility to the business. Operational efficiency, definitely, you know, uh, um, once the financial entries and financial operation is streamlined, the time and effort required uh, or the that time and effort that will be spent on this particular activity will reduce and then the last point is identifying discrepancies so basically 
we'll have to look for any differences between the internal records and external records that is what one word of reconciliation or or you know the extended extended version of uh, reconciliation is so discrepancies can be arise due to timing differences of the order when it was come and the payment when it came um, the transaction fees at the time when we started the transaction fees the marketplace is charging uh, today then there might be a human error due to which the data entry was incorrect and then any you know any fraud activities that has been taken care of all these aspects can be covered if you follow this reconciliation practice so uh, we would put more light as to how brown tape can brown tape reconciliation tool will help you with this uh, moving on to the next slide that we will uh, cover about is importance of payment reconciliation so we have noted down four important points here financial planning understanding excess charges identifying any seller practices resulting in lower payouts and the fourth one is limited window for highlighting any disputes with marketplaces so when we say the when we say importance why financial planning is important so and what what do we achieve out of this so financial planning is is bifurcated into two points remitted payments and expected payments in a month in a quarter in a year or in a week what are the what are the payments that have been received against uh, from the from the marketplaces or from the website and the expected payments the payments that are expected okay effective financial planning based on your remitted and expected payments will help seller maintain their consistent cash flow one thing very important second ensure stability and then support strat strategic financial health i mean if you are aware of what working capital you have if you are aware of what are your your spends going to be for the next quarter what are your plans it is very important for you to identify these things second is understanding excess charges there you know there can be scenarios where marketplaces can charge ad additional penalties like a cancellation charge or a higher logistic lo logistic cost now this this is this is where the person who is doing the reconciliation would miss definitely but a tool will definitely highlight it because they have the data you know when you feed the data they would plan it accordingly and they would give you the the system can give you the right error that for example from 1st to 15 these were the policies applied there were a discount offering on the market pieces so my uh, logistic cost was this and then from 15 to 30 it is this once you give that data to the system you know these excess charges can be easily uh, rectified through the brown tape tool third is identifying any seller practices resulting in lower payouts now this is usually seen in logistics costs again where products volumetric weight is higher than the debt weight due to the wrong packaging material at the warehouse end or or you know uh, wrong product being shipped which this this these all can be introspected and avoided by following this reconciliation practice fourth is limited window for highlighting any disputes with marketplaces now uh, let's say we identified that there, uh, that there was an error done at the marketplace end but again every everything's come with a with a timeline i mean there is a timeline derived to each and everything so usually marketplace has this practice of 30 to 60 days where they would allow you to raise the dispute so most of the marketplace have a 30 to 60 day window to report any kind of remittance discrepancies along with the list of impacted order ids and this this now if you have if you have a uh, team who's working on this the first would be they would have to identify the uh this this error second they'll have to collate all the number of orders it should have been rightly collated in the form that the with the marketplace is requesting for then timely share it uh, timely you know share it within the timeline of 30 days or 60 days and then expect a reward so it's a very time consuming process here brown tip tool will give us the data right away which will help you just to download the sheet and send it to the marketplaces which eventually will help save the lot of uh, save lot of time at your team send as well and in the right time the right format the data is also forwarded to the uh, uh, to the relevant marketplaces right so these are these are the important factors i think which brown tape software can easily cover with saving lot of time um, moving on to the next slide it's about what as a seller what all are the challenges we faces as we, we we face across our e-commerce journey 
when it comes to payment reconciliation today you know expecting that you know most of the people are not using this tool and following on excel sheets and following excel sheets there are certain challenges which i and siddhi and siona have you know uh, noted down and we felt like you know these are the important points that and these are the common things you know which which most of the sellers are facing right now so we'll cover it one by one first is uh, detecting excess deductions by marketplace at order id level now identifying excess charges at order id level is a very time consuming task right especially when it when the commission structure is different for each category on multiple marketplaces and if a seller is dealing into multiple categories the commission structure will differ the same goes with the price lapse or uh, price lapse and the same goes with the courier charges as well now this can you know now it becomes very difficult for the team to pinpoint on the exact uh, order order ids or to get the exact order ids on which they were facing the issues right second we have we thought of you know covering up this point with manual efforts and are and resulting errors training and expertise so basically you know what happens is we see a system can be 100% reliable but there are chances of human error there are possibilities that human will make some mistake they would leave some data they would leave some order ids they might calculate the commission in the wrong way they might do the wrong calculation when it comes to the uh, uh, the courier charges so manual reconciliation is also time consuming and insufficient i believe which can delay the detection of financial leakage i mean as there are timelines uh, are timelines given from the marketplaces and if there are error and we go back and uh, rectify the error so it's a time consuming process and it will take lot of and you will be might is we miss the deadline due to which there will there might be a possibility that even though we have violated the uh, uh, error from the market place and but we still won't get paid it paid out because of the time lapse adhering to market place timeliness to raise dispute i mean I, I, we have been discussing the same thing uh, on the first two points as well market place have limited window to report discrepancies if reconciliation is not completed on timely basis this timeliness can be missed and we will be will be ending up getting no revenue which we were actually expecting from the market place end computing logistic charges basis on shipping zones so market place charge logistics basis their uh, basis that uh, logistic chain which is divided at zones can be local regional and national and the shipping charges are dependent on the order shipping zone now again as a as a as a person as a team member who sitting for the or doing doing this task for the seller this is a manual process again which will require lot of time and effort to do this so brown tip system can help you out with the with this on a on, on clicks this skill this can save lot of your time then we have got financial leakage again you know addressing financial leakages during reconciliation is a is very crucial for maintaining the integrity of financial operation in the first slide i have covered this where you know the regular audits and continuous monitoring can also help identify and address any issue promptly because now is you will you will, by, by doing this activity week on week month on month you would come to know the 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 common scenarios that you face while doing, doing reconciliation and if you give it to system this weekly and monthly activity which will happen in round table will ensure a very smooth way of uh, of getting these things done for a seller variety of order case scenarios now when commissions vary you know this this commission structures vary based on category and price levels or there can be other criteria so as a person it becomes very challenging to accurately calculate and verify the amount owed or amount paid this variability can lead to unintentional overpayments or underpayments both can happen for example i'll just give you one example uh, by naming one of the marketplace i mean flipkart has an option wherein they collect flipkart payment collection fee now amazon has an amazon handling fee now this these two fees don't uh, are not common to uh, uh, common but both of them have a unique thing which is flipkart uh, collection fee and amazon handling fee so one should one should have to take care of each and everything and i'm sure it will result in an error because they would they would set a formula in an excel and they would end up in error 
right so but system can read this system can identify this and system can understand this very properly the last is scalability organizations with high volume of transactions face additional challenges in reconciling accounts due to the number of orders of or entries that they would have to need to be reviewed and matched on a daily basis or a weekly basis so today if a seller thinks that you know they are they are processing less number of orders definitely they have a target set to increase the order volume and as and when the order volume increases the other aspects like financial leakages or you know uh, cost cost plan, cost planning or working capital these all will come into come into play and then when you are scaling it is very important that you know the process is set once the process is set it becomes very easy for anyone to take over and carry forward it from there right so these were certain challenges uh, in the payment reconciliation that we have uh, we have covered now i would request siddhi gaude are one of the experts in reconciliation tool uh, to take us to the live session of the uh, of the uh, reconciliation tool of round tip uh, and she can share her expertise on what she have uh, how how can we how can we use this round tip tool to ease the uh, reconciliation uh, uh, reconciliation feature for us over to you siddhi thanks navi i hope my screen is visible yes siddhi thanks for confirming navit so uh, as clearly navit has mentioned about all the challenges and the importance ki why reconciliation has to be done on a timely basis and this is the order id level okay we have designed and round tip recon auditor tool that will help us to actually compare the actual deductions what the platform is uh, making on any particular channel ka order id versus the expected deductions what we were supposed to be charged from the marketplace so like for example if i show this particular orders which we are able to see on the screen i'm just demonstrating amazon uh, car orders over here uh, easy ship i'll be able to see the order id the order date and its financial fulfillment status is its order value and the settlement information over here how much actually settlement i have got and how, what is the expectation against this so now i will open this particular order i just now mentioned that we can clearly see the comparison right so for this particular order the channel amazon has actually charged me 194 rupees as sh shipping services that's the logistic cost over here but when i actually compare my rate card i can get to know to see over here ki i was supposed to be just charged 116 those were my expected deductions for this particular easy ship ka order you can clearly see where there's a difference of 77 rupees so this tool is its primary its primary objective over here to identify such kind of uh, differences in uh, this particular charges be it for any marketplaces be it for amazon be it for flipkart mintra or any other channel be it even online or offline when i say online i am referring to those channels which we have a direct api integration when i'm saying offline i'm referring to any channels that maybe bounty business support it's an offline maybe some facebook instagram orders or any other offline channel on which uh, sellers have been actively working on so now uh, how do we actually set up this tool it's very simple so to do that we will first come to the import configuration option so this is a flexible option where we can make a uh, different files compatible into brown So to to do the reconciliation, we majorly require only three information sources. The first one, as I'm showing on the screen, we require the orders or information. So this is nothing but uh, what was the uh, order ID, what was the order values. When I'm seeing order values, they are discount, item total, order total information, and also the customer's city state location. We do require this information because we're actually uh, comparing the customer's uh, city state location. and which will which i'm also going to further show how we are going to compute the shipping zones to cross check them with regards to the marketplaces so all this information will get covered up into this uh, orders information the next is payments so in payments uh, now we all know 
if as a seller i'm working on multiple platforms like to name a few amazon flipkart mintra a geo uh, then uh, mintra then first guy all these platforms have a variety of files the data what they give over here it's the order id level pay the reductions what they're charging but the representation how the files actually appear they vary with each particular channel no file is the same when it comes to two different channels so here in this uh, payment section we can make all of these files compatible we just have to simply map these files the third information is the product information like we know key amazon and flipkart to name these two channels they do charge you commission basis the category information okay, whichever category we use for listing uh, our products the uh, commission percentages will uh, vary as per that so all this information will be uh, configured in the start when we are setting up this tool into this particular segment okay so the next uh, once the configuration is done we can see all the configs whatever are been created into the system in this saved config information uh, over here one second okay so once uh, this configuration templates have been created we can simply come in the upload section and here we can upload uh, in a very simplified uh, ui whatever data that we are uploading that's all available over here like suppose if i select my payment information i will get a list of all my templates that i have created these are the user created templates which the system uh, has saved and is representing over here so like suppose if i'm uploading uh, my website ka cc avenue which is a payment gateway i want to upload that information to reconcile it i will simply select this option if i want to upload amazon ka payment information i can simply select the second template over here and accordingly proceed so whatever we are uploading over here will the history will also be available so later at any point of time we do want to come and review key what are the files which we uploaded which were the data which we had uploaded that's also available and suppose if any seller while uploading is making a mistake where the data is uh, having some validation issues then we can he can also download the process sheet so this process sheet basically has an information ki what is the error so that the seller can re-upload with the corrections so now the main uh, information like wh whatever we are uploading over here is getting uh, accumulated collected together in the auditor data tab over here this is by the way the same page where we had actually started from so in, when we're doing the reconciliation the uh, main headache what we have uh, what the sellers have been calling ki actually you know segregating the orders basis the cleaner set and the unclean set the problematic orders and the uh, reconciled proper well orders where there is 100 percent uh, correct remittance received. so this tab helps to actually do that segregation so here this orders will be seg segregated into unreconciled remitted unremitted flagged and reconciled orders so uh, uh, let us go one by one so when i'm talking about unreconciled tab this uh, is a tab which uh, i personally uh, recommend is that tab where the sellers should uh, have this primary focus because the main reasons are i'm going to tell all the reasons as well first reason is this orders the orders which are in the re unreconciled tab they are either not paid to you or secondly they are being partly paid the balance remittance is yet to be received the third possible uh, case is ki there is a remittance complete remittance is received for these orders but there is a difference like uh, let's take up the very same example that we had started on with it. so if you see this order there is a difference over here this order has been fully paid but there is a difference in the settlement amount as well and also the charges whatever is being charged actually and expected that's why such orders will stand in the unreconciled tab however the orders which are completely having uh, no difference between the actual and the expectations such orders will always be standing in the reconciled tab this is completely opposite so this is a set which where we can find the cleaner set of uh, orders let me show you one, one example over here so again here we are able to see all the deductions which the platform has done the actual numbers over here what the platform has charged what are the expectations over here 
and if at all there is any difference here we can see there is absolutely no difference over here then we have the payment actual payment dates over here and also it will have the settlement reference information so this is now uh, whenever marketplace is releasing any payments they do uh, provide the payment reference or we also call it settlement id or the remittance id that information will be available and uh, also sq information now let's go on to the other tabs so the next one i'll pick up is the remitted uh, orders so in this segment uh, in this tab you'll be able to see those orders which are either partly or been fully remitted in the unremitted we'll be basically uh, be seeing such orders which are uh, not uh, paid so here we can expect uh, some cancel orders to be visit, uh, visible in this particular segment because we're not expecting any uh, any uh, money coming up from this cancel orders but here if any time we can just put up a filter and we can or if see if there are any such kind of successful orders like i have this orders highlighted on my screen in the bottom three orders which i am showing so here these are delivered orders and uh, if i if i go by the date over here these are of december orders so if we observe over here this december orders and i'm religiously uh, doing my reconciliation process then uh, i can raise alarms for this three orders ki this orders are not paid yet to me uh, its expected payment should have been by now coming up till jan or max by february or if suppose there is some challenge or some uh, delay in the pay payments then march should be the uh, maximum time where i should have been received but uh, uh, such orders have been missed uh, in the remittance cycle so now it gives me a, cl a clarity ki okay i should raise this uh, order ids with the relevant platform and do a follow up for the payments or at least inquiry with the uh, platform ki why this orders have been missed up what is the reason for that so this with one click actually it is getting very easier to uh, understand ki if uh, my unremitted tab is having any kind of successful orders which for which i am i'm actually expecting some kind of uh, orders so you can also filter it using the filter options over here so uh, okay so now we identified such kind of orders where there is a difference in the commissions uh, which are been charged or any kind of deductions and secondly we also saw ki some orders uh, are been delivered but i have not received so this are the orders which i can uh, raise alarm with the relevant uh, marketplace or payment gateway or for my uh, courier platforms so i can simply come select this particular order and flag them so flagging can be used uh, it's just like in highlighting that order so basically you can use it if you're raising claims uh, to the relevant uh, platform so you can keep a list of all the order ids which are having uh, some open S uh, spf claims some disputes with the relevant uh, platform over here so over here uh, as we can see i have a few uh, flagged orders so this is also giving us an idea key which are the which are the uh, orders which are belonging to the pl platform as well and i can uh, clearly say ki okay i have this is just for a uh, reference purpose okay so I, I if i say over here i have three snapdeal ka order ids which are open two flipkart one amazon so i know ki i my team has to focus uh, with the snapdeal team first to get this three order ids resolved and then my priority should be flipkart and then uh, amazon this is the claims uh, which are available over here same way once your claim is been resolved we do have an option to you know uh, unflag this particular orders now uh, we spoke about uh, orders uh, no automatically getting segregated and standing in the uh, reconcile tab we do have an option like suppose if the difference is very low like so suppose say uh, the settlement difference between actual and expected settlement is just a, suppose say 2 rupees 1 rupee or something very negligible amount which can uh, which is fine for the seller they can also mark such orders as reconciled the similar way how uh, the process we had done for the flagging activity so now uh, okay the last tab which we are talking about is the all tab so this tab will basically have the entire set of orders information whatever we have uploaded so any order which is uploaded into the system i can say ki it should be uh, it is very well available in the all order step so now uh, all this while i've been also focusing about this actuals and expectations right so actuals uh, deductions are coming up from the payment uh, information uh, the payment files over here now let's move on to see ki how this 
uh, expected deductions can be configured uh, into the system. So uh, we have a special provision over here that is we call it the audit rules. So here the seller can actually set up all the rate card information uh, in, in, in the form of rules. So like uh, if I have to give an example, uh, Flipkart. So in Flipkart, uh, there are this uh, variety of charges where the platform is charging. So I can name a few like commission, then there's a fixed fee, then there's a collection fee, then there's forward shipping, there's reverse shipping, and there's this TCS, TDS, GST. So all these kind of deductions have to be uh, created as separate rules over here. And those rules will be used to compute the uh, actuals, uh, the expectations over here. So now let me show you one such example. Again, let's take up Amazon also. Okay, as we can see, uh, this is a simple rule that I have written, which will uh, have the status information and also the fulfillment zone. Now, this rule is actually to compute the shipping uh, rate card over here. That is the shipping services, what Amazon charges over here. Now, we are aware the shipping is also being charged as per the zones, as uh, Navil had clearly mentioned uh, earlier, ki if your order is moving, uh, locally in the same city, then they do charge you local. Otherwise, it's regional or uh, still if it is outside the region, it's national. So these rules are also accommodative enough to uh, handle, to create, to compute the zone itself. And accordingly, they can set up what is the uh, expected uh, shipping cost over here. So this helps actually to cross check if the platform is actually charging you as per the correct shipping zone or not. Secondly, this audit rules are also uh, accommodative enough whenever the seller cut tiring is changing. Like suppose today as a seller, I am at bronze and tomorrow uh, I move up uh, the ladder and I move to silver. So the seller can simply come here and create a duplicate rule over here and set up the new rate card information in the new rule uh, with a new validity over here. So this also helps uh, to understand and keep into place with regards to the changing uh, seller matrix, uh, also in the case of Amazon, Flipkart, or being even for Mintra. Like also in the case that tomorrow, suppose uh, the rate card information is changing, the marketplace or the website team is informing you, okay, from tomorrow onwards, uh, or maybe from an X date, the reductions, the rate card information is changing. So that is also configurable over here. Okay, now, so now uh, coming on to the reportings. All this uh, information uh, that we are actually uh, doing the reconciliation, all this data is downloadable. So to download this, this data is clearly vis uh, available over here in the interface. So here uh, we have four different type of reports. The first one is the entire settlement information, which will give you the all the information, whatever has been uh, uploaded, be it orders, be it for payments. The second is a summary uh, view over here, which will have the main information, like what is the channel order ID, what is the order date, what is the customer city state location, the financial, all that information, and if an order is reconciled, and the, the most important uh, point over here, the actual and the expected settlement information. And if at all there is any difference, that will be provided in the second report current view summary. So now uh, this uh, the main report that we uh, I want to focus on is the current view detail report. So now this uh, detail report is very important for the person who is actually doing the reconciliation and uh, doing uh, raising the claims with the relevant, uh, relevant platforms over here. So now uh, we saw this example. I will again pick up the same example for ease of understanding. OK, so now again, uh, let us see to this example. So where uh, the order had a, a difference in the actual and expect uh, expectations uh, over here, 
let it just load okay so here uh this one my actuals 194 for the shipping expectations were again 116.82 and this was my difference so this information with regards to the payment component type that is the shipping services it's corresponding actuals it's corresponding expected and it's corresponding difference amount is what uh, will be available over here in the current view detail report for uh, the orders that is been it is been getting generated for okay so the seller can simply uh, you know filter up the amount difference column and take out the uh, all the orders which are having anything any difference amount which is greater than uh, anything apart from zero and he can directly report those particular order set to uh, the platform for the SPF uh, claims process. So the last uh, kind of a report is the custom uh, download report, which uh, is similar to the brown tape ka customized sanders sales report, which many of our sellers have been using, which gives you an option a flexibility to you know select the headers uh, select the fields uh, whichever the seller wants to generate and he can be choosy about what fields he wants to use and he can freely generate the uh, orders car or a recon report and that all will be available separately in the recon report section over here currently this is a test account so you might not see any uh, results over here but this is a place where uh, you can see all this uh, particular information so this was about uh, the reconciliation uh, tool okay so to to summarize uh, let's on, uh, see what are the benefits that uh, we are providing using the brown tape reconciliation tool so to first uh, see so we are going to get an order level breakup of the deductions which we have just seen get an order ID level pay it is easier to pinpoint which all, uh, which all orders are the ones which need attention and which needs to be reported to the uh, platform which actually is a very tedious activity and should uh, be very helpful the next is uh, the systematic comparison of the actuals and uh, the actual deductions versus the expected deductions which we have just seen how we are able to see in the report and also how we'll be able to see in the ui as well so this uh, having such kind of automations in place will definitely give us the efficiency uh, to which i'm coming on next because uh, having this reconciliation done at the order uh, already level pay will require human uh, in intervention and especially when that uh, we have an automated brown tape tool coming to a picture uh, i'm sure it will uh, add a lot of efficiency to your reconciliation process so again uh, since uh, this is an automation tool we are uh, we are giving up a minimum human errors over here and this is also cost effective basis uh, the amount of team members which will be required to sit and reconcile and you know keep all this reconciliation on a timely basis right? uh, next is scalability so obviously when uh, the sellers are actually on a uh, on a promotional level where they're actually improving on their order volume recon reconciliation and that to doing them on a timely basis and as Navadit clearly mentioned here about the different uh, order case scenarios, scalability does become a problem. But if you have a tool into place, and especially uh, the feature that we showed about the audit rules, where you can set up your own rules for the different kind of case scenarios, it makes it very scalable when you're coming with a brown tape car reconciliation automation tool. And the next is customizable audit tool, which uh, we just uh, spoke about with this uh, kind of setup, which will also help you to, you know, segregate all the orders in an automatic process where you know key, uh, which are the cleaner orders, that is the reconciled orders, and which are my unreconciled orders. So that helps to actually focus uh, on the unreconciled ones. Uh, okay, and the next one is reconciliation of offline channel orders as well. So now, uh, again, I'll repeat key if there is any particular channel which, you know, brown tape is uh, not supported via direct API integration and you still are, uh, you know, handling them in an offline way, you can also, you know, integrate uh, this particular into the reconciliation tool and you can do the reconciliation process the same way how you do it for the online.
the next is uh, avoiding uh, financial uh, leakages over here. So if we are, if we are able to pinpoint on the order ID level, pe, ki which are the uh, orders which are being uh, unremitted or be it uh, overcharging or be it for uh, you know having this kind of excess charges which have been charged by the platform this will obviously uh, if there is no timely manner pay we can definitely avoid this kind of financial leakages and yes the reconciliation reports which uh, we believe will be very hel helpful to all the sellers for using this particular tool Yeah, hi everyone. If you uh, we done with our session, if you guys have any query or any questions, you can put up your questions or queries in our page given a box. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you for today's session. Thank you for joining today's webinar session. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, speakers and members. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone.